Well, hey family, this is Darlene. Wanted to thank you for stopping by the Jury by BDK YouTube channel. I know you didn't come here for a sermon. <laughs> so here's the video and we'll talk soon. Well, hey family, happy Tuesday. Um, I'm sitting here working on some bracelets. I went ahead and made the bracelets because I was on the phone talking to um, two other people that are working with me to do the coat distribution that's coming up on this coming Saturday. Um, we had to do our little meet over the phone just to tie up all the little loose ends, make sure everything is all ready and, you know, all the one, two, threes are in place. Um, every year I do an annual coat distribution and I serve unsheltered, I don't even like to use the word low income. So I say income disadvantage. Um, anytime you start using the word homeless or, um, low income or something like such, it has a certain type of stigma attached to it. And just because someone is unsheltered at the moment, that does not mean that they will always be unsheltered, you know, and homeless, when you think about homeless, that kind of has that, that tag attached to it. Um, the image that you see a person that's kind of out there, they're dirty, they're, um, unkept, you know, they're, you know, just looking some type of way. But that's not the reality for a lot of people. I do know like during COVID, um, a lot of people lost their homes. They lost cars. They lost a lot because a lot of people became unemployed during the pandemic. And in addition to that, they um, when they lost incomes, of course, at some point they were able to get unemployment and it was extended and all this other kind of stuff. But in the meantime, while that was going on, the housing was a challenge for a lot of people. And the housing was a challenge because some people may have been affected in a sense of having to be evicted from their place of living because they ran out of income and the unemployment didn't start immediately. So no sooner than that happened, now people are getting evictions on their credit and all this other kind of stuff. And if you call and say, hey, well, how long were the people living there? You know, they were really doing background checks and stuff. How long were they living there? You know, did they get evicted? All this other type of stuff. It was like really, really crazy. So um, I, I've i chosen to use a word anytime I'm using uh, working with families, unsheltered and um, income disadvantaged. Um, it just is more respectful to me than to be calling people those other names because there's so much attached to that. But anyway, that was the phone call. And we was uh, talking about that stuff. But in the meantime, while I was on the phone, of course, I was making something and I was making this beautiful bracelet right here. This is absolutely amazingly gorgeous to me. I used some aluminum wire and then I went ahead and secured the aluminum wire with some 16 gauge wire. And as you know, that 16 gauge wire is really thick. It's nice and thick. So what I did is um, just went ahead and secured it and then gave it a really nice little look. And I do like the way it came out. So I'm going to came out. So I'm going to make another bracelet like this. And this this one the focal bead didn't come out exactly like this focal bead but that's okay i'm still going to use it because it is you usable right and it gives the look that i'm looking for and i am using some of the uh, <clears throat> some of the bead caps i did order some cones and some bead caps and those should be coming in i think tomorrow so I'm looking forward to getting those so I can work with those. And then also, um, that already looks pretty like that. Um, I need to order some more, some more beads, just different type of beads. Man, these holes are small. I think it's just the beads. Cause what are these? Eight, not eight millimeter. Um, are these nine millimeter beads? I think they're eight millimeter, <clears throat> eight or nine millimeter beads. And the holes are, I'm believing one millimeter. And you know, that's bad when you can't even find the hole. You can't even see the hole to see through the hole, okay? And I got, I got all these lights on in here. I got studio lights on in here and I got another light on in here. And sometimes it still seems like it's just really dark for some reason. And then this is what it's gonna look like so far. And the 
us find that hole without a cool wig. I'll use some of these other little beads. <clears throat> Earlier today, I was taking a little editing class because um, I want to start doing a little bit more extra things to the videos when I um, edit the videos. Because initially, I was saying I'm not going to be doing all that and da 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 da. But it does make the quality of the video better. You know, when you edit, you add a little stuff to it. And then some things just need to be cut out. Because sometimes I might sit here <laughs> and start coughing or. You know, the phone will ring and I see the number and I need to answer it like immediately. And I find myself talking on the phone and I'm like, okay, well, that definitely is not going in the video. So I found myself early on, you know, some videos back having to edit that stuff out. So I'm like, you know what? It only makes sense. And it don't take a whole long time, especially if you're not trying to be absolutely perfect, in, you know, with your video. So if you're just trying to uh, clean up the little spots where you might be coughing or the phone has rang and you didn't start talking, for me anyway, you know, those type of little things. Or you didn't say something a double time because I find myself doing that sometime too, a double time. I don't know if that's just because I'm a Gemini or what, but I find myself saying things a couple of times like I just did right now. And then sometime I'll go in and edit that stuff out. I really like the way these run together. Look at that. And then I have my, my people been calling me from all over the place. What is going on where you are? What's up with the weather? Did you get caught out there? No, ma'am. No, sir. You know I didn't get caught out there. I'm not hard-headed like that. Anytime they start sending alerts out double back to back like that. Let me see one. This one. That one. This one. That one. This one. That one. And then we need one more. Anytime they sent, start sending out them alerts like that. And yesterday, I think they sent them out like back to back. It was like probably three back to back. And anytime they start doing that, it's like, no, ain't no way you can pay me to go outside. And then no sooner after they sent those alerts, that storm came in. I mean, and it was like cars just rolling down, not the street, but in these areas where, you know, that water was able to just swell up and them cars was just rolling down. Like, and I was just like, and the scary thing about it is that. What I was seeing on videos and um, the news and stuff is what I generally see coming from that happening in different states, not California, but different states. And I was just thinking to myself, it's like, see, you can't get too comfortable anywhere just because we get a lot of sun and, you know, it's pretty good weather and all that kind of stuff. Don't get comfortable with that. Don't get comfortable with that at all. Because just like you watching them other people be buried up under that water and homes all torn up and, you know, that wind coming through there, ripping up trees and houses from the roots. It's like that can happen to y'all too. So calm down with it. And I was just like, just looking at them like, oh my God, this is literally what I see in different states. Not California. And this is the worst. I'm still trying to find this hole. Well, look. And this is the worst I've ever seen. I mean, like really the worst I have ever seen. Um, I had to go out this morning. And when I went out, it was a, a tree branch. And the tree branch was under the back of my tire. And I'm like, man, chances are it hit the, it hit the car. But I don't see like dents or anything anywhere like, you know, where it possibly hit the car. And I was just like, wow. So that means it was a bunch of stuff out here flying you know, yesterday doing that storm all out here. So, and I was just like, wow. Um, I am looking for one of these beads right here. So, we're going to go ahead and put this one. And I think what we use is like 16. Let's see what we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
15, so we got 15 of those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we want one more. One more beetle here. Yeah, but it, it was it was something to see. You know, my people calling me, y'all all right, but what's going on? Woo! Thank God you answered the phone. I was like, if you don't calm down with that, you know I don't be going outside in this type of weather. You already know how I do. Mm -hmm. And don't let it start storming like thundering and lightning and stuff like that. Please. You ain't going to live by me outside. I have a aunt, well, had an auntie that passed away. And anytime it would start thundering, she was so fearful of thunder. Like she would literally find somewhere to hide. And they do say like hide under something. And she would always go right up under the table. And uh, back then, I don't know about anybody else, my family had uh, dinette tables that were wood tables. They didn't do glass tables and all that kind of stuff. They had that real nice wood furniture and stuff, right? So back in the day, that's how, you know, that's the first thing she would do is run up under the dining room table or anything that was made of wood and she could fit up under it. And we was just, uh, Auntie Lorraine, that ain't nothing but a, a, a mini thunder, <laughs> thunder sound. Where are you going? She was like, uh-uh, you don't never know. Ma'am, we know. That one didn't even have no light to it. If you don't calm down. But she was scared of uh, thunder and lightning. These are really pretty. I really like the way... I'm going to make some more of these. I really like the way this came out. Actually, what I'm going to do... I'm going to make some more of these focal, uh, focal point beads. But what I'm going to do... I'm going to make the, the wire, the aluminum wire part. I'm going to make it longer. So that means it'll come out a little bit bigger. Not a whole lot bigger, but actually longer. Because I like the way... Um, I really like the way they came out. I like the way they look. And you can tell this one is smaller than this one. And that's still okay, right? But I do want them to come out the same size. I really like these. I like the way they color the colors. What I was going to do, that's why I got these little halibut beads here. The first ones, I was going to mix those in somewhere um, with the beads. But then I was like, ah, those are a little bit too big. I really don't want to use those for this bracelet. So this came out good. I like it. I like the way it came out. So that's, these are really pretty. And I did secure the wire in the aluminum wire. And so it is pretty um, secure on there. That's really nice. Anyway, Darling Knight for Dear by BDK. We do got some new subscribers. Um, I always want to thank my subscribers, the new subscribers. Not even just the new subscribers, just the subscribers that have been around forever, forever. I was telling somebody the other day, I remember when I didn't have any subscribers, and then I had one subscriber, and I was so happy to have that little one subscriber. It wasn't a family member either because I didn't tell anybody about the YouTube channel, right? So I was like, oh my God, I got a little subscriber. And then the fun thing about that is the subscriber was watching the videos. Every time I uploaded a video, that one subscriber would, I, and I, if that's you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, here's a virtual, just thank you, right? Um, whoever the subscriber was, they would literally watch the video every time I uploaded that video and stuff. And I'm like, man, that is like so cool. I got one subscriber. But then as it went, I started getting more subscribers and it seemed like it took forever to get to 100 subscribers. And then it's like, once you get to 100, 100 subscribers, then it's, it seems to go pretty good. Like, boom, it starts selling real nice. And it's like, okay, well, I got a hundred. So now what, right? Not really concentrating on numbers, but just been excited about the fact that people find the channel interesting enough to subscribe to it. Okay. So then at some point, I looked up and I got a thousand subscribers, right? And I'm like, oh, shoot, well, wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. We're doing something now. Shoot. Okay, we're doing something. And then before you know it, the 1,000 turned to 2,000. Now the 2,000, it's over 2,000 now. It's about 26. 
I think about 2,600, so 2,600. Um, and then I go in and I look at the analytics, right? So I'm looking at the analytic, analytics and they make sense. They make sense. Keeping in mind that a lot of people are not on YouTube every day all the time, like many of us are. Um, and, and, and that's okay, but I'm pleased with what I've grown to this point from zero to subscribers to one subscriber to now over 2,000, almost 3,000 subscribers. I'm like really, I'm, I'm pleased with that and I'm happy about that. And that's why I always thank you guys. Like, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for watching because you really don't have to, right? You don't have to, but I appreciate you. And I always want you to know that, that I appreciate that you watch, that you comment, that you find me because y'all be finding me. <laughs> you find me on Facebook, you email me, you do all those wonderful things. And you always telling me how pleased you are with the content you know, thank you for the content. Thank you for the little uh, teaching moments, like all that good stuff. And that's, I, I, that's, that's good stuff. You know, that's good stuff. And I really do appreciate that. But anyway, I don't talk enough. And guess what? We'll talk.